Hi, my name is Dan Weiss and I'm the Product Manager of Microsoft Learning Labs. Today I will be concluding our series on how to use Labs Online by looking at how MCTs access labs and how they're able to check the progress of their students in a class. Step one, as always, log in. I'll be logging in using my Windows Live ID here. And then you might have multiple institutions. Choose the correct institution. For me, it is the demo organization, Sharon CPLS. I log in. Verbiage here is currently a little trickly, but you'll tricky, but you'll want to connect, use connect instructors and students to access content. You will then want to choose your right course to make sure you are looking at the appropriate material. I'll be looking at this one down here, the maintaining Microsoft SQL Server 05 database. There's two things I can do on this page that are highly relevant. I can review the class. I can see what my student, in which case the student being me, what they have done. Currently, the student has not completed any of the material and is simply scheduled. Say I want to go back, though, and look in, in, at a, a, a lab and walk through a demo of it for a student. I click on the Launch Class button. Then I could click on any of the labs or look at any of the corresponding material. I can open the sandbox guide, which is our PDF here, so that I can understand how the VMs are configured and so that I can modify the lab steps if need be. And this will allow me to understand what's going on here. I can see what VHDs are included and how this, what software is already in, available. Say I want to look at Lab 6 for Module 6, Transferring Data in SQL Server 05. I click on the link and look at the time load on this. The, the lab will take a few minutes to load, and users will need to have at a bare minimum a 512 kilobyte per second connection per user. Another thing that we strongly recommend is to check your ping rate. And please ping servers based in San Francisco, California. And you can do that by looking at speedtest.net and going from your location to San Francisco, California. This will allow you to understand what sort of bandwidth you'll be getting to that site and what sort of ping rate you'll be having. Good packet rates are 300 milliseconds or less. Remembering, though, that each one of those milliseconds will indeed count for a latency within the virtual machine because you will have that lag. So the lab is nearly done loading here. And while that is loading, I want to talk about some of the functionality that exists in here. You are currently looking at a VMRC connection into virtual machines running in a Microsoft data center in San Francisco. From these servers, we are spinning up the lab that corresponds to this course. You will be seen on the top bar here, depending on the size and complexity of the lab, tabs. Each one of those tabs will represent a certain a virtual machine. In this case, there's only one because we're in SQL. There might be up to three or more. So the lab is done loading. Now I'd like to showcase the functionality of how quick the lab is. I'm able to move into my control panel with a double click, look into lab files even, and then look into the different components here. I can also go into the control panel, and then I could look at the administrative tools, managing my server, and then I could be looking at adding or managing this mail server. So then here's my mail server. Say I, I need to do something in Task Manager. I can use Control Delete on this button below to pull up Task Manager. I can log into it. I can look at processes. I can end them. I can change things as I see fit. And you see, you even get the pop up the music here. So there's two questions you might ask. Dan, can I as an instructor log in at the same time and using a sort of shared desktop view as my student. At this time, that, available, that feature is not available. We are, however, working on that diligently, and I hope I can share with you soon a date and when that will be available. Second question is, Dan, will my users and I be able to save our work and come back to it at a later point? Unfortunately, that feature, too, is being developed, and I hope to be able to share publicly a date on when that will be available. With that, please always remember to quit the lab correctly, because if you don't quit down here, the lab will still be running in the background, which is also a good functionality, too, in case, say, you're, you lose internet connectivity 
or if you have to reboot your computer. Well, if the lab's still running on our servers, when a user comes back to a lab, if they don't quit correctly, they will see a message saying, would you like to log back into your existing lab or into a new lab? If you click on existing lab, it will take you back to where you were before you quit and correct it. However, the timer in the lab will continue to count down. I'm going to quit now. Your work will not be saved because we don't have that functionality currently. So I'm going to click OK, and that will close the lab. That concludes our conversation on how to use a Microsoft Learning Lab online. If you have any questions about the product and or, and or feedback, please reach us at lol at microsoft.com. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to working with you to make the best product possible for you all of our stakeholders, the partners, the students, and of course the instructors. Thank you for your time and have a great day.